As we draw closer to the announcement of the 2015-16 Victorian Greyhound of the Year, we continue our look through Victoria's exciting Group 1 calendar. Australians love an underdog, and mid-winter was certainly that, when winning the first Group 1 of 2016, the Silver Chief, at the huge odds of $41. And after finding himself in a midfield position early, mid-winter stormed home to defeat the front-running Harlan to deliver Melton hobby trainer Andy Stewart his first Group 1 win. Midwinter into the clears coming. Harlan, Midwinter drives at it. Midwinter hit the lead. It's a blowout win in the Silver Chief. Midwinter's got up and won it from either Harlan or Marley. No Donuts was racing for his second Group 1 win when lining up in the Zoom top. One of three Group 1 invitational races to be held on the opening night of the 2016 Australian Cup Carnival. Having won the Sale Cup, No Donuts was backed into a $1.70 favouritism and he justified his short price with an all the way win despite tiring toward the finish. No Donuts is getting tired but it's clinging on to the lead and No Donuts has won the Zoom Top and beaten Come On Fantasy. And they're away, Diner double one, jump fast, muster speed, he goes through and he leads, how do they beat him now? Having recently stepped up to the middle distance ranks with three straight wins by a total of 17 lengths, Diner double one was always going to take a power of beating in the Rookie Rebel. And despite a gallant effort by Marira, there was no stopping the versatile speedster as he reaffirmed his status as Australia's number one greyhound in the absence of the retired Fernando Bale. Turning for home, Dyna double one clear from Marira who can't go with him. This is effortless brutality. Dyna double one won it by six lengths on Marira. Thirds a photo finish, Cisco Range or Box 5 held no fears for Del Getty and the Tim Lee as the brilliant sprinter handed in the run of his career when leading all of the way with an outstanding run. The Tim Lee was Del Getty's first win at Group 1 level, having previously captured the Group 2 Geelong Cup and the Group 3 Silver Bullet. And Del Getty awesome in the Tim Lee, won by four lengths to above all, third shedding. Star Recall showed all her star qualities to win the Australian Stayers final on Australian Cup night. Despite being almost four years of age, the versatile West Australian frontrunner was simply superb in opening up a big break over her rivals before just hanging on to defeat the fast finishing Esparza. Star Recall leader, Esparza flying but Star Recall got home, one up from Esparza, third home Esparza. The Group 1 Australian Cup proved the perfect finale to a magnificent racing career of Dyna Double One. He had to dig deep to run down Black Frenzy, but in doing so snared the $250,000 first prize, which took his career earnings well beyond a million dollars and also became the first greyhound since Tangaloa in 1980 to capture the Melbourne Cup Australian Cup Double. Here comes Dyna Double One with great strides on the outside. Dyna Double One raced up, takes the lead. It's the million dollar man for the Australian Cup. Dyna Double One wins it from Black Frenzy, Diego Valmarira. After gaining a start in the heat of the Sapphire Crown as the first reserve, Nara Lee not only went on to win that race, but she went on to win the final a week later, in what was the first Group 1 of Sandown's May Carnival. For hobby trainer Steve Crichton, it was his first victory at Group level, while owner Linda Gray vowed to buy her first brand new car with her share of the $100,000 first prize. Nara Lee kicking strongly, Folio Bale, Nara Lee. Nara Lee, I think's kicked and won Nara Lee to Folio Bale in the Group 1. Despite boasting the fourth fastest time at Sandown Park in 2016, Dundee Osprey was sent to the boxes as a 25 to 1 outsider in the Harrison Dawson final, as he faced a hot field including Blazon Bomber, Del Getty and Aston Valero. His long odds held no fear for the underrated Greyhound, as he blitzed the field by three lengths and in doing so gave trainer Jeff Scott Smith his first Group 1 win. Dundee Osprey turn with a big lead and it's all Dundee Osprey. Brilliantly wins at the end from one for me, Blaze and Bomber, then Del Getty. Rank outside of Bells are Ringing produced a stunning upset in the Sandown Cup, 
leading virtually all of the way to claim the world's richest greyhound race for stayers. Paying a massive $38.40, bells are ringing made it a clean sweep of Group 1 wins for hobby trainers in Sandown's May Carnival, with trainer Jerry O'Keefe scoring his first win at Group 1 level. On the turn, bells are ringing, kicking strongly. Bells are ringing, turned in front. Bells are ringing, goes all the way. Bells are ringing, wins the Sandown Cup over Zipping Kane and Houday not far away in a tremendous finish to the Sandown Cup of 2016.